What's that here, everybody? Hi, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Elena or La de Deluxe that's here on Fridays. And today's Friday, that means Fridays are a drag. And we're doing this. The court is now open. <laughs> this is Jet Judy, my take on her. And we're going to be doing this uh, pretty much uh, old age makeup and Jet Judy face. Um, I still look at myself in the mirror like <laughs> so if you guys are interested I love Judd Judy so I'm gonna enjoy every second of it so it's gonna be a quick tutorial or some of it voiceover so keep on watching don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you get notified of all new videos upload uh, follow me on social media all the links are down in the description box like comment subscribe and let's get right into this video because I've got no time there's sushi for lunch Hurry up. So before we go to my bare face, I just wanted to express how much I love Judd Judy. This lady is 80 years old, so happy birthday, belated a few months uh, ago, like in October, I think. She's 80, she's still smart, she's still everything got together, and she's extremely witty and funny, and she can be entertaining and I just like I admire her so much. I know it's like it's court TV, blah, blah, blah. It's like, you know, some people think it's a stupid show, but it's extremely entertaining. I mean, I love it. I love her and I've been watching her show for years. So I also want to do Judge Judy. And since Bianca Del Rio Jud did Judge Judy, we're going to be doing Judge Judy as well. So without further ado, is it a selfie stick or is it my gavel? We're gonna get right into this video and the court is now open. So this is my first time doing old age makeup. So if you're wondering, this is my painted with raven robe. It's gonna come handy. I'm gonna put some lace there and that's gonna be my judge robe. We're gonna use kimchi foundation. Kimchi Chic Beauty, real good foundation and ones and L. So this is the lighted shade usually i go like a little darker with self tanner but since we're doing uh jet judy she's not all that dark just gonna use a uh, lightly just to have uh my contours and highlights to grab onto it should be interesting so not only we're making ourselves aged also we do an impersonation so that should be really interesting see i don't even know where it's gonna go because i've never done old age makeup before so we're gonna get there together. So we're going to start with contour, the hollows. She's got very hollow cheeks here. And finally, I'm gonna use my Aesthetica palette for a lot of things, unless I decide that I want another tone, I might use um, IBH. So I'm gonna start with deepest hollow here. Now this is all sketch. I'm gonna blend this, fix it, most likely add powder and make it all look more natural with powder. I'm going to use the same brush and do my neck and the usual contour. Now the difference between this and Bianca Del Rio, Bianca Del Rio did Jet Judy in drag. It's pretty much how the drag queen would be if the, she was a Jet Judy, which makes sense because she's on Drag Race. I'm going to make a Jet Judy as Jet Judy, as close to the person as we can. So we're gonna add some lines here, just a little aging lines. So much for putting foundation on. This all gonna be emphasized by uh, eyeshadow as well. But so far, we're just creating a little bit of a age spots here. More diffused because, like, on TV she has makeup too, so it doesn't look all that ratchet. So she's got wider nose base and longer and more like pointed down. So I'm gonna use black in my nostril to create a little bigger nostrils because the nostrils are shaped kind of like this. So if my nose was a little lower and the nostril was up, like this would be the shape. So I'm gonna paint a wider nostril just with a black, black gel liner and create new folds here. 
Now remember, this might look weird, but from the pictures, it's gonna look like, you know, kind of a drawing, a painting. Like with any impersonation, this is what we're aiming for, to get as realistic as possible, but still have some lines that actually emphasize the character that you're portraying. So I'm creating wider nostrils with a darker counter shade. Okay, it's time to continue emphasizing lines. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Jan Judy does not have a voice like that. Anyway, I'm using a darker shade in the same palette. I'm gonna do the eyebrows. She looks like a woman that never had her eyebrows trimmed. And that's not a shade. That's the T. <laughs> so this is just preliminary shape. We can fix it with powders, of course. And continue making the line. So I'm kind of making the old makeup and the character makeup at the same time. It will help me see how it's coming together. I'm just using a tiny, tiny brush and um, a lot of contour. Her, her eye crease is kind of like pointed up here. So I'm going to create the new contour. This is fun, guys. Creating a character like that where it's not all glam and it's mostly just the painting pretty much. Pretty much like I do in portrait on the face. This is more interesting than any kind of... No offense to queens, but this is cool. So I'm going to start putting the brown here. She usually has a little brown. And I'm not putting any brown contacts because I don't have any. I'm enjoying my blue eyes. So the brown is going to be in edits on Instagram. <laughs> I'm just going to fake that. She's, I think she has like a hazel eyes. Not even brown anyway. So at this point I'm just doing old age makeup. Nothing Judge Judy specific. Uh, the wrinkles, well, kind of like hers because I have a very good uh, re high resolution photo and you can see where her wrinkles are actually. She has very, very fine, many like nets of wrinkles. I mean, she's 80, right? So a lot on the cheeks. So I'm creating this with creams. And this is all before I even set my face. I'm making faces to uh, see where my nose is gonna scrunch. Um, do a smile lines here, laugh lines, whatever we call them and the forehead as well. Now all of these things I'm doing, I'm going to set with powder later. And then at the end, uh, I'm not gonna show it to you because it's pretty much same steps. I also use the brow pens, like Anastasia Beverly Hills and NYX to emphasize the same lines to make them a little uh, sharper because those brow, brow pens are perfect for that, excellent. And same goes for the neck. I uh, can't forget the neck. There's a lot of horizontal lines and some vertical lines, but mostly horizontal. I looked at her picture, that's what it looked like. And some H. Now I'm using Tristic Blush Stick and we're gonna add a little redness to the face. Well, on TV, they do put makeup on her, I guess. And also, you know, old age, you have a little bit of redness peeking through the neck. I put all the lines here too, as you can see. Just add a little bit here and here. All right, now that we've said everything, I'm just making small details with the same um, gel liner. I'm gonna take a small brush and create a new crease here. Continue emphasizing crease like going upwards and then downwards so using my old beat up revolution pro palette 
I'm gonna create contour. Well, pretty much follow the same contour line. More hollow here. Using water activated paints. Uh, this is Diamond FX. Anything will do. I'm pretty much dunking a brush, like a very feathery brush, and creating splashes, kind of edge spots on the chest, on the neck. More fine lines here. Using the ABH brow with and granite to create a little brow hairs. Her brows are very arched and very uh, thin overall, but like thick only here. So I'm just following the picture. There are a few pictures, like I find that in real life her eyebrows look thinner and on camera, like on court and uh, Judge Judy TV show, they look a little thicker because somebody obviously does something to them. Applying red lipstick, her lips are very thin, so I'm gonna make a thin line and then do the white conceal around. And this is a BH in uh, American Doll. I might have to pinkify it because it looks like she likes pinky red more. And she's here, Chad Judy. Everything better with a wig and no eyelashes. Silence. Oh, that's a selfie stick. That's my gavel. So here's my husband eyeglasses. And my husband's eyes are effed up. I can't see anything out of his glasses. Um, it's not an answer. Don't peel my leg and tell me it's raining. Baloney, you are moron. <laughs> Beauty fades, dumb as forever. Don't try to teach a pig to sing. It doesn't work. It only annoys the pig. <laughs> they don't keep me here because I'm beautiful. They keep me here because I'm smart. <laughs> That's one of my favorite phrases. I get more and more lightheaded with this thing on. Uh, I'm totally living for this. <laughs> so let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below. Judge Judy is like one of my all-time favorite characters. Judge Judy, I watched like so many episodes, maybe all of them. <laughs> and then, of course, Joan Rivers. It's like Judge Judy. It's like two of my old favorite ladies. <laughs> I freaking live for them. Uh, both of them very funny. And uh, it's like I need to do Joan Rivers, which reminds me. I totally need to do Joan Rivers. Oh, I'm going to do Joan Rivers. <laughs> anyway, go back to the topic. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you've seen Judge Judy uh, episodes. <laughs> I love Court TV. I know it's kind of stupid and, and it's like a, a cheap TV show, but she's so smart and she's so intelligent and she's so um, witty. So it's like it makes it extremely entertaining. And by the way, I glued myself uh, these gems because I don't have small earrings, so that's my Judge Judy small earrings. <laughs> so that is it. <laughs> Leave me a comment, subscribe if you haven't yet, ring the notification bell, and thank you all for watching. I'll see you in my next fabulous video. Then. On this note, the case is closed. Get out of my courtroom. Get out. Lunch time. I got sushi for lunch. I don't have time for this. <laughs>